What's up, family? What's up, family? We're going to get into this NWACP coon activism that we're seeing in uh, full effect, a.k.a. sabotage. Um, Mr. Amos Brown came out of nowhere and crawled off and under the garbage can and said that they was going to reject the $5 million reparations that was supposed to be given to black people. Now, let me tell you one thing. I already believe that this right here is being put together because they know that the elections is coming up and they're just trying to butter our toenails because I know better than this. Because I know right after uh, Biden get back in the office, because I know that, you know, some of these Negroes going to go back out there and vote for him one more time because they so scared to let go. They so scared to put down the breast milk because they've been on the uh, uh, the breastuses of the Democratic Party for the last 50 to 60 years. So we know we're not. We're not gonna let that. We're not gonna let that go. Believe me, they're they're not gonna let go. What you seen in the last election is exactly what you're gonna see in this election. An election after that, black people are gonna vote ninety six percent Democrat. It's not going to change because they are scared. Black people live with a whole lot of fear, and uh, the Democratic Party has done an excellent job in scaring us but let's get back to this right here we got this amos brown guy you know what i'm saying and wacp finally shows his head and as you know we haven't been hearing from this organization for a very long time i don't even remember hearing um about them and mike brown situation um you know what I'm saying the black lives matter movement None of this stuff that uh, the Trayvon Martin trial, they was quiet. You didn't hear nothing about them. They had nothing to say. They was quiet in a church house mouse. You didn't hear a peep from them. All of a sudden, out of nowhere, they come out of the abyss to let black people know that we don't need $5 million. Now, I don't know about you guys. But it's a whole lot of things I can do with five million dollars. Give me five million dollars, and um, I'm going to make it happen. I don't need nothing else. Just give me five million dollars. If you don't make it after you get five million dollars, there's no more excuses. So I would think that they would be happy to give black people five million dollars. That way, they don't have to worry about it no more. You know what I'm saying? Let's let's get it over with. Pay us the reparations and you don't have to hear from us no more. But this um, Amos Brown, we know that who really runs the NWACP and it's not black people. And I'm pretty sure those people that run NWACP told him to come out and make this statement because believe me, nobody wants to see black people get five million dollars. Okay? Because we're already competition. Can you imagine if we all got five million dollars, what that would mean? That means that we would have um, a better opportunity to get into the race. We would become a whole lot of people's competition. And like I say, we already doing damage. We already run music. We already run sports. You know what I'm saying? And if we get into the financial market, we're going to run that too. And that's the fear. And that's the very reason why they want to give us that $5 million, people. I'm telling you, they don't want to give black people $5 million. Okay? Because they've seen what we can do with a little bit of nothing. You know, we took the straps that was given to us off a of master's table and turned it into a cuisine. Okay? We turned it into a cuisine. 
So you imagine what they, you know, what I'm saying what they're thinking about if they would give us five million dollars. I honestly believe that it's not gonna happen. But let's hear um, Mr. Amos Brown start to backtrack after he catch a whole lot of fire and a whole lot of smoke, because when they turned that down, black people turned up. So let's um, give you a little video snippet from Mr. Roly Poly, a.k.a. Roland Martin. And then I'll get back to you and finish the video. But here it is right here. So, Pastor Brown, I, I just want to be clear. Go back to my iPad. The statement that was released, the headline says, San Francisco NAACP rejects $5 million reparations payment to blacks. And then it says it in the sub... So you're, you're saying that this statement that was released publicly, this statement is wrong. That's right. So the San Francisco NAACP supports direct payments plus yeah. investments to the black community. That's right. And, and in, in the 100 plus recommendations, some of the same things are listed what we introduced in 2019. You see, I introduced the idea of reparations to this community. On the 30th of July, 2019, our national convention in Detroit, Michigan. So let that be no mistake about it. We support cash plus. And so the state, so, so you support the five million, but you also, to, to individual African Americans, but you also want further investment in black institutions. Even the five million is not enough for the hell, the horror, and the hardship of our people. You can't put Well, why did you reject the five million dollars in the first place? I don't I don't understand this. If that was offered on the table, why are you going to reject it? But then you're gonna say it's not enough. It doesn't make no sense. And then he tried to say that that was a mistypo. And if you see it right here, let me go back to the actual whatchamacallit right here. You see it right there on the NWACP page, right there. San Francisco NWACP rejects $5 million reparations payments to black people. This is on their website. And it's written in red. So how could you say that was a mistype? You can't make this stuff up, people. You can't make this stuff up, people. Let's go back to the video. Little dollar sign on the oppression, enslavement, and downright insult and assault to our humanity. So that was a mistake that was made there regarding our position. And I'm setting the record straight now that we cash payment plus substantive programs. Yeah, of course you're going to walk it back now because black people was about to give you that smoke. You know what I'm saying? But as you see on the NWACP page right here, they rejected it. So now he wants to walk it back because he see the smoke. He thought we was just going to sit up there and take that rejection. You know, and first of all, you don't speak for every black person in America. I want my $5 million. You know what I'm saying, Mr. Amos Brown? So, you know, you can speak for yourself. Why don't you worry about your money? I'm going to worry about mine. Okay, how about that? You do what you want to do with your $5 million. Let me do what I want to do with my $5 million. If I want to drive down the street and throw it out the window, then allow me to do that. Because why? It's my $5 million. So tell me what you guys think about this um, this tobacco that was going on and stuff like that and the WACP um, popping up out of nowhere because we haven't seen them for the last 10, 15 years. And all of a sudden, as soon as we get ready to get our hands on something, here comes the NWACP. 
leave a comment let me know what you feel about this um situation right here thank you for listening like subscribe and get your five million dollars i'm out